What's up, everyone? Welcome back. And the Gasol brothers, both starters in the All-Star game last season. It's the first time that's happened in NBA history. Pau talked about the joy of sharing the NBA stage with his brother Mark. Well, their story is a bit like a fairy tale, the way two of them, uh, sons of medical professionals in Spain, have become two of the best centers in the NBA at this age. Yeah, and especially, Kevin, when you remember what a raw talent and how big and bulky Mark Gasol was when he was drafted by the Lakers, who traded him to Memphis for his brother. And now the second quarter, just getting set to start. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, Michael Carter-Williams is out there with Vasquez. And then there's Antetokounmpo. Then there's Monroe. And it's Henson in at the four. Monroe, no good. And Jason Kidd has seen a lot of things in his first few years of coaching already changed teams once and had some personnel issues but you cannot deny that he knows how to get the most out of his team now vasquez after kirk heinrich's three-pointer that didn't go monroe's shot is good well check out that assist that's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page brooks kicks to Miritich. brooks outside Noah with the screen on Carter Williams. Back to Gibson. And foul. Draws a foul. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And with Kidd, the results on the floor. Greg speak for themselves. He knows what he wants out of his players, Clark, and he keeps them accountable. And you know, having that accountability is what made the Bucks so much better last season. Kidd is still a very young head coach. But I'll tell you what, he's shown me a bright future in that capacity for him. And you know, guys, Todd Gibson now has six full seasons in the NBA, already 30 years old. Seems like just yesterday he was being drafted. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Miritich. Butler comes in for Kirk Heinrich. And it's Rose in for Aaron Brooks. Getting back to Gibson, he was one of the oldest college freshmen in the country at age 21. Played three years at USC. Then he was one of the oldest players in the 2009 draft, even though he declared as a junior. Yeah, I think the NBA is the only profession where it hurts you to have a lot of experience coming yeah. out, you know, because that's one reason why he did drop. I mean, had he been a couple years younger, with his length and athleticism, he very well could have been a top 10 pick. But I tell you what, the Bulls are happy that he wasn't. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Carter Williams. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Butler with the ball. Now Monroe defending. Butler against Monroe. Butler goes in. Five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Then Not able to make it. Wow. The Bucks trail. The pass to Carter Williams. Henson sets a screen for Carter Williams. Back to Middleton. Pass to Carter Williams. From beyond the arc. Rebound not quite Carter. able to make it. And he made sure not to just draw the foul. That was good. Still a little close game, though. Very good. He's a thinking man's defender. Knows how to bother even the best. Woohoo! That was a nice looking shot. And, and that's why it's so important. To really be a good screening team, you get a lot of open looks from it. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. And for most of his career, Taj Gibson has been a tremendous role player up front. GA, he's been extremely steady over six full seasons. And, and Kevin, he gives you a lot of energy and athleticism when he enters the game. He, he's got the great length with that seven foot four wingspan. But to me, it's not just about having it. It's about the fact that he utilizes it. And it really allows him to get in there and attack the backboard 
and contest shots. for an update. Hi, Kevin. Jason Kidd was just going over the plan with his team. There was one thing he stressed above everything else, and that was getting the ball into the low post. That is where their points can and should be coming from in his mind. The other thing he stressed was the need to be disciplined on offense. He asked for good ball movement and good shot selection. So, Kevin, change is already being made on the fly here in the second quarter. And thanks for that story, Doris. Yeah, you know, talking about gifts. Ooh, nice. You just straight up stole that shit. It's either a bad pass or good defense. Or a combination of both. Speaking of good defense, how about that? Straight up access denied on that one. Wow, another three pointer. Dunleavy's got six points. These defenders had better start closing out on those shooters. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. And, and talking about Gibson, if he ever wants to be seen as a high level starter, he needs to work on a few things more bankable moves in the post, a more fluid post game, if you will. And it really increased strength and consistency. I think those things will carry him to that starting five. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel right plays now, in Two transition. Shot. You know, another Two factor shot. in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. And he can't get the first one. And Jabari Parker is a rookie, drafted number two overall behind Andrew Wiggins. Clark, there was much debate about which of these players, which of these prospects would be better NBA players. What do you think? Well, I think both show they're very capable of being stars in the league. Parker got off to a great start, averaging 30 minutes a game until, unfortunately, he had the ACL injury. And Wiggins, conversely, went on to have a big-time season, winning rookie of the year. Wow, missed both of the shots. It's not good for the Bucks. Whole cluster fuck of people over there. I think that took everybody by surprise. A baseline J. Rose no. That missed on that one. Butler with the steal. Ooh, nice. Unable to make it. Wow. Okay. For the Bucks, their improvement usually you see incremental progress. Even after losing key players, Clark, they they shot up the standing. And part of that, Kevin, was just growing as I a sunk it. Well done. And also improving the roster. Another part was that they were better than their record showed two years ago. Player development is part of the improvement. Here's Dunleavy following the basket by Chris Middleton. Butler dishes to Rose. This all set the pick for Rose. And again, no good by Chicago. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Now here's Rose. He's got six. Butler on the wing. Outside Gibson. Outside Butler. Lock at six. To the wing right side. Near the three-point line. It's Dunleavy. Misses off the left iron. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Parker. And that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. And it's six points for Parker. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Rose in the post. With the put down. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance. All right, nice, nice. He's got four points in the quarter. You know, his positioning near the hoop 
Yeah, good effort there. All right, still a pretty close game so far at the end of the second. So, guys, stay tuned for the third coming up next. Until then, peace out.